Hi everybody, in this section we will create our index page, we will firstly create a controller and then we will create a service to get the data from the database. Lastly, we will also handle the front-end part by designing the index view page. So, uh, firstly let's just go to the controllers folder and add the controller with views here so that we will have some base methods. Uh, let me just select here the model of listing, the context, and we'll just create it so that we have some uh, boilerplate methods for the crowd operations. We won't use them exactly. Uh, actually, we will create a service to get the data from the database, but just so that we have some code in the beginning. That's why we're doing it uh, so. Okay, so here we have our controller with the methods. And in this video, we will handle the index method. So first, let me just go to the data folder and add the folder for the services. Just naming it services. And inside here, firstly, we need a, we will create a service, an interface here. So I'm going to add a new item, an interface. And I'm naming it iListings service because we will get data for the listings. And here, firstly, we will just create first select a signature method that we'll then implement in the services class. So uh, the return type will be of iQueryable of listing, and I'm naming the method getAll. So this will implement then in the new file that we'll create that I'm gonna be, okay, so I need to import here the models uh, directory. Then I'm just gonna add a class that I'm gonna name listing service where we'll implement this method signature that we wrote there. So I'm just naming it listing service. Click add, and here we'll implement the interface that we created, the I listing service. And if we click here, uh, to show the errors, we can click here on implement interface so that this method is implemented somehow. So, so firstly, let me just uh, modify the get all method. Let, let's just write the get all method. And I copied it from the controller, what we had there and just it's just as simple as this. We're just taking listings from the context and we will include there the users so that we will see the users. And for the context, we will come here and copy this, what this, what is here in the controller and just paste it down on top. We just need to rename the constructor here to a listing service. So we'll get the, the information from the database in this service and the method is okay. And now here where we had taken the context, here we will import in the controller the service that we just created. So I listing service, and then we'll name this like underline listing service. And then modify it here in the, con in the constructor as well. Okay, and what we can do now in the index method here, we will take the method that we created in the service. So here, just write underline listing service dot get all, which is the name of the method that we have in this service. And that is basically how we'll get the data for the listings in our index page. I'm going to need to uh, comment all these other methods below because they are using the context and uh, we now we are just using the service in this controller so it would have a lot of errors if we let them as they are. 
So I'm just commenting out everything uh, except for the index method, which so that we can test it, how it looks like. And now when we go to program.cs, we need to add the service that we created here. So in the services here, the start builder that services that add scope to it as a scope service. And here we'll have to write the name of the interface that we created and the name of the service itself. Okay, let me just go to the listings folder in the views folder and here at the index.cshtml I will just basically just change the header here to an h2 header and write here active listings to see all the listings that are active in our application and I guess I'm just gonna remove this table presentation here Okay, so I'm just going to delete all of this. And I'm making a forge loop here to loop through all of the listings that we have. So for each var listing in the model, that is the listings model. Okay, I guess I need to make it as an iQueryable here because that's how the data was when I wrote the method before. And here I'm gonna have a div container, div of class container to represent all of the objects, all of the things in this page. I'm just giving it styling as well, the background color. I just saw it before, so I'm just typing here the RGBA code. So yeah, I was just testing it a little bit before and I found the color and this is the code for the color. So I'm setting the margin on top to be 50 pixels. And the margin on the bottom to be also 50 pixels. I'm giving it a padding of like 20 pixels. And I'm giving it to the border a radius, so it's like a corner shaped. And giving it the border radius to 10 pixels. Okay, so inside we need another div. Uh, I'm giving it the class for row, which is a bootstrap class, and inside of it will uh, have another div with a class of column so that we specify in this way we specify how many objects are in a row so we make the class of column and then if the screen is small the div will take six out of 12 imaginary boxes of space and if the screen is large the div will take a bit less space it will take five out of 12 imaginary boxes of space this is just to make the page responsive across different devices. And here in the, oh, we'll write for the images of the listings here. I'm just I'm making this sign here. We will store the images in a folder that we will create later that will be in the root root folder we create the images folder there and then we will take the listing that image path which will be the the address of the image where the image is stored and for each image uh, we'll handle the styling here 
so the maximum width I'm setting it to be something like 400 pixels and the maximum height just basically the same 400 pixels okay so I'm copying this to have have another div here this div will be a bit larger that's how we specified the 7 there and here we have a h5 header inside of it we'll have an anchor tag which will redirect us to the details page and here we specify the route id to be equal to the models ID okay I'm setting the color here the color I'm making it to be uh, black And inside the anchor here, we'll, I'll put the listing, the title, so the title of the listing. And just below, we're going to need another div. Inside of it, we'll just store the description of the listing. Uh, okay, so firstly here we will need to specify the listing price Which is how much is bidded or needs to be bidded for the listing and I'm making this two string uh, Method here of n2. So there, there are two numbers Behind the after the comma. So when the number is 50 it will be displayed like 50 comma zero zero dollars And just below there we'll just write here who listed the listing so the owner so to say so listing that user that uh, email but it's the same just like the username i think in our case because the user's name we stored as an email actually so yeah okay so here i'm gonna make an if clause and in case there are there is nothing in the model so the model is empty there are no listings in our database i'm just going to display it here so that there are no active listings so that's what basically we have to see firstly when we load that application now because we haven't stored anything in the database Okay, we have stored the service in program.cs. Here we can just specify the default controller to be the listings controller. So that when we run the application, it will appear the index of the listing controller with the first method to be called, the first link to be called. And we're just running the project now. Okay, we are, um, I think in the, if we go to the controller, to the listings controller here, we uh, return the view as a list, the application the context that to list async. That's why we can't write here, I queryable what I did, but to we'll just leave it as it was like list or an ionomerable. So I don't know why it changed that actually. Now, uh, yeah, when we run the application, this is what appears. The, uh, we see here that we have no active listings. So this is our index page, but when we will store objects there, we'll see, we'll see the listings. When we'll store listings there, we'll see the listings. So 
So we have handled the index page in this section. Make sure to keep watching the following videos of the series to see how we will build the next pages for this application together with their functionalities.